An absolutely fascinating 36-car test was just done in China. Amazing video here from this Chinese media publication showing staggering results here that were quite unexpected. I have honestly challenged other YouTubers. I've challenged other mainstream media. And it hasn't been in my best interest. My best interest is to say great things about Chinese cars. I mean, they're the ones that are, you know, actually paying for me to go to China. Uh, Tesla never has. But guys, I've got to say, I think this gives you an idea of how generally honest I think I am about cars. I've maintained the point that Tesla has the best full self-driving by a wide margin, regardless of um, electrify everything, uh, other channels saying, oh, the Chinese ADA system kills Teslas. It's way better for self-driving. That was all just nonsense. And this test absolutely proves that without any doubt. Now, does not mean Tesla is the best at everything? Well, actually pretty close. Anyway, 36 cars. Let's have a look at the best ones. XPeng are up there, but in a way that you wouldn't expect. But the best mainstream car that isn't a Tesla was actually an XPeng. Let's have a look at the list. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This week, Chinese media outlet Dong Chidi conducted a large ADAS test of 36 cars in 15 obstacle scenarios. Six of them were traveling at high speeds on the highway. So six of the tests, the cars were traveling at high speeds on a highway. Nine of these tests were in urban scenarios. 36 cars were tested. So just keep in mind, 36 different models of cars, some from the same manufacturer. And interestingly, there was six different scenarios ranging from a sudden highway stop, which is possible, you know, cars can stop quickly on a highway and you can come around a corner and you're like, whoa, I'm going 110, 670 miles an hour. And all of a sudden you've got to slam your brakes on. So there was also a stop to avoid a construction site and a collision with a pretend wild pig. Yeah, I mean, basically it could be any animal, right? So it is actually a good test. And you can see here that yes means the car passed the test by successfully changing the line uh, or by activating autonomous emergency braking. No means the car failed or crashed. What were the cars tested? Okay, the cars tested. Tesla Model 3, and I'm actually just reading them out in the, the order in which they uh, succeeded. Model 3 came first. Model X was second. Actually, the truth is the Model X and the Model 3 were basically equal first, which is a bit of a surprise. Now, there was one particular brand, one well-known famous brand that um, basically bombed and crashed out, had a pretty shocking result. Great Wall Motors Wei Lan Shan. That was equal fourth with four Chinese cars. So Tesla was in first and second. Great Wall Motors Wei Lan Shan. I mean, that's a bit of a surprise. It succeeded in three out of the six tests. Tesla Model 3 and the Model X succeeded in five out of six tests. So that was first and second, five out of six. In equal third place, four car brands, they did three out of six positive scenarios so some of them failed some of them and won some of them others some of the others so ultimately the, the the score wasn't perfectly even but they all of these four cars succeeded in three out of six tests the xiaopeng or xpeng g6 which um as you guys know i own one of those that was in equal third with the great one as weilan shan the a2 m9 was there uh, which has software from huawei and the Luxseed R7 also joined with the Denza Z9 GT EV. So the Denza G9, that was the best performing BYD. There was a few, few, a few BYD models in this test. Obviously, Denza is a BYD-owned brand. Following that uh, quartet of cars, you've got the Aeon RT. All of these cars succeeded in two out of the six tests. Aeon RT, the Toyota BZ3X, bit of a surprise there. Avatar 12, the Ato M7, also Huawei software, Avatar 07. After those, they were actually equal. There was five car models that I guess you could say were equal fifth place, followed by Lee Auto with one out of six, Xiaomi Su7, one out of six, Ato M8, one out of six, Buildy Tang LDM, that's the new Buildy Tang, 
and it does have God's IB, I believe, uh, which, as you can see, no, probably underperformed compared to what you'd expect. iCar V23, 1 out of 5, Xiaomi Su7 Ultra. That's the new 100,000 US dollar uh, crazy um, wild performance car, which is amazing. That was also there with 1 out of 4. BBD Seagull, 1 out of 4. BBD's FCB Bow 5, 1 out of 4. Basically, the BBD Bow 5. The Neo ES6 was next with 1 out of 4. Now, these following cars all got zero. They didn't get any of the tests and didn't succeed in any of the tests. The ZX001, the Bao Jun, Shang Jing, the Lincoln Co 900, the ability Han L, which is a bit of a surprise. The Han L is a new car, has also has God's IB, I believe. Leap Motor C10, that's not a surprise, I don't think. Volkswagen Passat, GHC Honda P7, the ability Han DM, Zika 7X, Xpeng P7 Plus. That's a real shock considering that was previously considered to be the um, best car in China for full self driving. So I'm not sure what happened there. Bibidi Song Pro DM, the Onvo L60, Mercedes Benz C Class, Exceed, Xlantix ET, and the Firefly EV. So you can see here, really, really strange because, I mean, the Xpeng G6 did so well coming in with a very good three out of six score. Uh, I mean, if you exclude Tesla, then it was equal, for, equal first place, uh, basically equal first place out of the Chinese cars. But then for some reason, the Xpeng P7 Plus got zero out of six. So very, very surprising. I'm not really sure why that happened. Some people are saying this. They think it's because of the difference in sensors height. The height of the sensors on the car, height of the cameras, the radars, etc., how they're tuned, the shape of the car, that depended on whether or not it was successful. For me, though, the big takeaway is BYD has a lot of work left to do on its God's IC, God's IB, God's IA, God's I, everything else. There's a lot of hype around that. BYD do have, what, a million uh, people in their workforce. They have the, by far the largest workforce in the world working for them. But I do think that focusing on this um, this area is something BYD have admitted is what they need to work on, specifically on their ADAS. Now, another shock here for me was Toyota's BZ3X. Surprising that that actually beat other BYD cars. I mean, the BZ3X is basically a BYD. Uh, so interesting to see it um, get two out of six correct. Now, another one that is also interesting is Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz have apparently spent uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. I actually heard billions, but I don't know if that's true, on their software, their ADA software. And as you can see, it, um, it didn't succeed uh, didn't succeed on any of the tests unfortunately now tesla's result i mean i've got to say i think that tesla's result proves that a lot of these reviewers that you've been what that people watch on youtube have been just flat out lying they're saying tesla software is crap and the other chinese cars software ada software is much better and i've seen them say this and i've even spoken to them in person and i've, I've even brought it up with a couple of these guys i've said guys are you really telling the truth? Like, are you really telling me that you really think the software in that car you tested is significantly better than Tesla's? Uh, and they often won't give you a response. They just, oh, yeah, it worked well. It's not a direct response because they know what you're saying. They don't want to really admit to the fact that um, they're just saying what that car brand wants them to say. That's what's, co that's what's coming out. So millions of people are being a bit, I think, a bit misled by people being influenced by this situation. Now, here's what Car News China said. They said, cars from the same brands equipped with the same exact ADA sometimes solve different situations differently, or tried to anyway. This can be caused by a slightly different software version, different sensor positions that send inputs to the ADA software, or different ADA's chips with varying computing power, which can influence reaction time or other variables occurring in real life testing. I think that's a pretty good summary. Now, when it came to the urban driving test, the non-highway test, 26 cars were tested in this test in nine different urban driving scenarios, including entering a roundabout, making a U-turn, encountering pedestrians crossing or interacting with an aggressive e-bike. And Tesla obviously came first again. It passed eight out of nine scenarios successfully, which was a shocking and good result for the Model X. I mean, that's not considered... Um, a, a car that people really use for full self-driving. I mean, it works, you know, but I, I, I wouldn't have thought the Model X would have been the car that would have done the best. 
And it was followed as well by the Luxeed R7, which came with Huawei's ADS and Avatar 12, also equipped with Huawei's ADAS. Zika 7X and Envoy L60 um, didn't succeed in this test. And surprisingly, the Tesla Model 3 uh, didn't do so well in this one. It scored a 5 out of 9 success result. The Model X was first with 8 out of 9. Shockingly, the Toyota BZ3X also did well, 7 out of 9 on this test. The best performing BYD actually did quite well, 6 out of 9 for the BYD FCB Bow 5. But the new BYD Han DM, which is meant to have this new special God's Eye software, actually didn't do that well at 3 out of 9. So that's a bit of a surprise. Two different BYD cars performed quite differently. So overall, the very, very clear winner in this test, it was not the Model 3. The Model 3 averaged out, came second. The Model X was the clear winner, which I'm still a bit baffled by. I'm really curious to know how the Model Y would go. I'm also curious to know what version of software the Model 3 was running. Was it the latest software? Was it not? It's really hard to tell. Now, the interesting thing about this test is they'll run it again next year. The results will be completely different. These manufacturers will be looking at this and they'll be going, you know, we want to do well on this test. We want to make sure we improve. And innovation in China is just unbelievable. I'm sure all, the, all of these, every single one of these manufacturers, you run this test again in six or 12 months, they'll do better. Uh, two years time from now, I think all of them will be acing these tests. Not all of them, but most of them will be doing extremely well on these tests. And software will continue to improve. The computing chip speed and power of the latest chips is staggering. It's amazing. So I think what needs to catch up to that is actually the integration with the sensors and the other, the software, etc. But anyway, either way, cars are definitely getting safer. But the results here, I found quite interesting. Did you? Let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. Thanks for watching.